Good morning everyone, it is Saturday and this is gonna be my breakfast. This is Greek yogurt double protein, sorry I know it's in Spanish, but it is the honey kind. This is so good, I love it. I've never found a Greek yogurt that I like so much because it doesn't have that weird like Greek yogurt texture, like that really thick, almost like you're eating cottage cheese because I hate the texture of cottage cheese. So I'm gonna put that in. These are actually some cookies that I made. They're oatmeal, peanut butter, banana cookies. I made oatmeal cookies with chunky peanut butter and then I added a couple of bananas. They actually turned out really good and they're really good in this yogurt because they don't have any granola. And I'm gonna top up this apple and put that in there too. And yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast. And this here is what it looks like. I only ended up putting half of the apple actually in the yogurt because it was a lot of apple. And you can kind of barely see the yogurt on there. But my favorite part about having this is that it keeps me full for a long time without being too heavy. Because I feel like a lot of breakfast foods are really heavy and then I just want to take a nap afterwards. So this gives me energy and keeps me full for the day until lunch. So yummy, 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 yummy. I'm going to eat this now. For lunch, I got some takeout. This is the salad that came with my sandwich. It has onions, cucumbers, mixed lettuce, and balsamic vinaigrette. And then to go with that, I got a grilled vegetarian sandwich with eggplant, zucchini, chiles, cheese, and aioli on it. This was so good. For dinner, I'm having these steamed vegetables. It's carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, onion, and Italian dressing. I just throw it all in a pot and let it steam. This is one of my favorite ways to get my veggies in, and it is delicious. And to go with that, I have some tuna salad with spiral noodles, pickles, onions, and just a little bit of mayonnaise. And on Sunday, I decided to make brunch. I found a recipe for churro French toast, which turned out amazing. Right here, I am making the frosting that goes on them. It is powdered sugar, some cream cheese, and a little bit of milk and vanilla stirred together. And then that just gets set aside for after the French toast extra gets made. Next, to actually make the French toast, you take two eggs, crack those into a bowl with a little bit of vanilla, and just whisk those together to dunk the bread in before you fry it. Here I just have some unsalted butter in the pan melting to prep for putting in the little slices of delicious And while, while the butter was melting, I actually realized that I forgot to make the cinnamon sugar topper. So I just took, um, I think it's two parts sugar. This is actually brown, just natural sugar, not bleached. Um, but not brown, brown sugar. It's natural sugar, if that makes sense. So um, a few spoonfuls of sugar and then some cinnamon and mix that all together. Now I'm taking the slices of bread and dunking them in the egg mixture. I actually don't leave it in there too long because I don't like it when the bread is super soggy with eggs. So I leave it in there for a little bit, let it drain off, and put it in the pan. And once it's done cooking on both sides until it's brown, you take it out and sprinkle the cinnamon sugar mixture on it when it's still warm so that the cinnamon sugar will actually stick to the French toast. And then the final step is using that cream cheese frosting that we made in the beginning, drizzling that over the top, and you are good to go and enjoy your churro French toast. It was so delicious. Just look at it. It's beautiful. 
This is a spinach-based salad with dried cranberries, walnuts, and apples sliced up on there. I love these kinds of salads. I don't know why. Oh, I forgot the feta. Hang on. Say yes to feta. Okay, that's enough. All right, so here's the real salad. Apples, dried cranberries, walnuts, and feta. With this dressing here, Kenton's Steakhouse Raspberry Walnut Vinaigrette. So, so good. Yummy, 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 yummy. I'm watching, I just found this girl on YouTube, Kendra Atkins, and she's talking about her pregnancy, and it's the cutest thing. So, I'm gonna watch that and eat this. Yes, yes, yes. And that is it for this episode of Weekend Eats. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye!